Hey guys, this is Mr. Creeps, and today I'm going to be doing another M Creator tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a custom entity slash mob. First thing you want to do is you want to go to resources and you want to import your texture, import mob, GUI, logo, etc. And you just want to import your texture. I already have my texture imported. So, and also M Creator ones on .pngs. I'll link your description to a really good website where you can find a lot of textures. And also link in the description um, to download M Creator. So let's get started. You want to press the Add New Mod Element. You want to find the living entity, or you can just press E. You want to name it. I'm just going to call it Ghost. There you go. And most of the time, the biped texture does not work. So I like trying to find a villager texture because they look. They also look pretty cool. And now you want to select your texture which is the ghost, but for some reason, it cuts off the first letter sometimes. Next, um, the Entity Model Bounding Box. It is a hitbox. I would leave it the same. This next one is the Spawn Egg Options. Here you can enable or disable it. I'm enabling it. And you can choose the color, just like this. And then you can also, um, then you can also choose where you want it to be located. You can select the boss bar or not. And you can um, choose whether you want something in its hands. I'm not going to put a stone pickaxe in its hands, because why not? And then here's where you choose the sounds. I'm not going to choose any sounds, but um, because the generic hurt and death sounds are good enough. Um, but if you also want to import your own sounds, what you use you go to here, and they, but they have to be in OGG files. Um, and then you can just, um, they'll be in here, and you can just choose them. I'm going to go to next page. Next. You can choose whether it's a mob or a creature. It's going to be a mob for me. Um, whether it will it spawn in the day or in the night. Um, then the undefined undead mobs. Undead mobs, I'm pretty sure um, they you have to deal damage to them by giving out uh, healing potions instead of potions of harming. Um, and also, I believe that it burns in the sun. It might not. I think that might be a different option to the AI. Arthropod, I don't know what it does, and I, don't, and I think... Villager might be in raids. Next, you can choose the health. I'm going to give 20 health. Then you can choose the experience points. You can choose its movement speed. I'm going to make it pretty fast. Choose 0.8. And then the render distance, I'm going to lower it down to 32. Next, you can choose this drop. I am going to make it drop obsidian. Next, I can choose its attack strength. 5 damage. And then now you can choose its immunities. I want to make it immune to fire, drowning, arrows, no, not arrows, lightning, fall damage, um, and cactus. So now arrows, potions, and direct player attacks are the only thing that can actually hurt the monster. And then you can make it writable. You can make it a water entity, meaning it swims, or you can make it fly. Next. You can um, choose the different particles. I'm not going to... Actually, I might choose particles. I'm just going to... Choose maybe smoke, and now I'm gonna have to click spawn particles around entity to actually make them spawn. I'm gonna keep it that I'm gonna keep the spread the same. Average particle spawning radius. You can change this all you want, but I'm just gonna continue this. And now you can um, customize all the procedures. Different video on that later. Next page. Now you can choose the AI. We're gonna want to make this monster attack the player. Let's find the player entity. There you go. And if you're going to use this mod on servers or multiplayers, you're going to also choose player MP. Insight and nearby only. That works the best. Next, you're going to attack targets. That's very important. That's going to actually be at the top. So you can actually, so the players, not, not the player, the monster actually attacks the entity. And then you want to do melee attack, chase after lost sight, and then you can choose the Speed factor that attacks. I'll drag that onto there, and you can just throw those away. And this is for a hostile entity. Um, another video later on to do a like a cow sort of thing, I guess. Next page. You can enable it spawning. Despawn with idle. I'm gonna make this a bit smaller so it isn't as so it isn't um as common as zombies or stuff. And the um it's gonna be a monster. And then I'm going to choose this to be like seven biomes anywhere, and you can also choose if that monster spawns in dungeons, which I'm not going to choose because I want this to be like a special mob. 
And now I'll see you in game. So guys, let's test out my mob. My mob. So it's gonna be under miscellaneous because that's where we put the spawn egg. And here it is, the ghost. Let's spawn this thing in. And look at that. Look at those particle effects. Doesn't that look cool? And also, let's just um let's see what features it had um disabled. Whoops. So fire. So let's try to get some fire. And let's get flint and steel. We'll try to burn this thing, and as you will see, it'll do no damage to it whatsoever. And man, that is really quick. I didn't realize how quick it is. As you can see, it's really quick. That's 0.8 speed, so that's insanely quick, actually. And if we get a diamond sword, we'll be able to actually deal damage to it. Let's see, where did it go? Wow, it's all the way over here. You see, it drops obsidian. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please like the video. That would be greatly appreciated. We're on our way to 150 subscribers. Please subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye, guys.